Yes, good afternoon. This is Eric Sands again from the Sands for PC. And today I want to talk a little bit about the internet privacy or, or what the you have the federal government under the National Security Agency, the NSA, collecting all kinds of data from the internet. Now, I remember when I was going to law school, we talked about the U.S. Patriot Act after 9-11. And I think that's been, uh, you know, used in an abusive way. And actually, we foresaw that when we when the act was first signed by George Bush under the guise of, well, we need to stop terrorism. The problem is, it's so broad now that you're catching innocent people and their rights are being trampled on as well. You can have the government to try to stop terrorism, at least try to use preventive measures. The problem is, innocent citizens are also having their, their data used in ways they shouldn't be used. For example, the recent controversy with the NSA, you find out that Google and Bing and Yahoo and all these major companies that just turn over your data, whether you know it or not, right to the government without even hesitation. And you think that your data is secure, but you need to read those privacy policies that they have in place. And you see that a lot of ways you waive it because most of us, uh, you know, the average citizen doesn't read a policy on the internet. We just look at it, we sign it, we check a box and we say yes. The problem is with all this freewheeling data is that it can be abused. And as you've seen in cases recently, with the NSA, they're checking up on their girlfriends and their wives and doing things that are not appropriate towards uh, dealing with terrorism. It had to do with their own personal animosities or personal problems, but it had nothing to do with the Patriot Act. And that's the problem when you give the government too much freewheeling power. Now, recently, there was a two court decision, one in Washington, D.C., as well as in the Southern District of New York, where one, the Southern District of New York says, fine, you can look at the data, and the court in D.C. says, no, you can't look at the data. You're doing too much collecting the data. The interesting thing is what citizens are not asking is, out of all the millions and billions of bits of data that you've now collected, what resulted in a stopping of a terrorist act? And the government's probably going to say none. Matter of fact, that was related in one of the cases in D.C., that there was no data. And that was a claim in case that he brought against the, uh, the government. Just keep in mind that the Internet is not as private as you think. If you go on the Internet, use it wisely. And don't think that you have all, uh, all privacy with a curtain that will protect you from any potential liability or any criminal acts. So like I said before, make sure you use the Internet correctly. And if you find an abuse of your privacy act, you may have a cause of action. And then you need to contact an attorney. Thank you.